How you doing folks and welcome to another video with Scary Fly. Today we're going to tie a little goose bite olive nymph um, one that we posted there recently on or well, a couple of weeks ago now probably this stage on Facebook and we added to our fly range. Um, very simple, very effective little nymph. Few people were asking to see how to tie in the goose bite and stuff. Um, so we're going to go through that fly here now at the moment. So I've got a size 16 to hack or jig hook in the vice and I got a 3 mil slotted copper tungsten bead on that hook and I'm just going to begin by tying in some of our Kevlar silk in there onto that hook I just tidied it up for a tail we're going to use a bit of Coctelion a couple of fibres of Coctelion in there hold them in place get them in there on top of the hook Adjust them to your lint and secure them in. Tidy up your waist. Now, we're using a medium olive goose bite. You can see it there, most people know what they are. Used commonly in buzzers and stuff as well for cheeks and other material, other fly patterns. But what we're going to do basically is we're going to peel off one of the one of the, the fibers off of that quill. Now, here as you can see, the shape has a natural curve to it. It has the concave, which is the under curve, and the convex, which is the upper curve. And it's very important when we're tying this in that we understand the difference between the two. That's going to affect the finish of our nymph. So, basically, what we want to do is tie in up underneath with the concave facing up the convex sorry as I say it's easy to get mixed up between the two so we're just going to place that in there underneath the fly yeah, let's get that now. like so with the concave facing up and it'll slightly come up around to the side and that's okay so once we got that in place we can form our body our underbody just make sure it's all nice and smooth. Put a little bit of depth to it. We're then going to catch. I find using hacker pliers here is, is quite, quite useful. I'm going to catch the tip of that. Goose by it with the hacker pliers. And we're going to start winding it anti-clockwise up the fly. Like so. And as you're starting to wind it, you'll notice little barbs on those goose bites starting to protrude up. And that's exactly what you want. You know you've got it in right then. If you're not seeing those little barbs, it's tied in backwards. So we're doing overlapping turns up the body. A couple of mil between the barbs. So, and then we can just a couple of toss turns over the top, and put a bit of tension on the thread, and release the hackle pliers. And it slipped. If it slipped, that's okay. Catch it again. And I'm actually going to have to go back a little bit step here now. That's okay, it happens. So, just realign your goose by it. And again, a couple of turns over the top. Tension on the thread, and it stops it from slipping there now. And tie it in well. Very simple little body, but again, if you're not getting the desired effect, it's quite possible you have the goose bite in upside down or the wrong way around. And always remember, wind anti-clockwise. So just tidying that up. For a thorax cover, we're going to use a little bit of Perrin Mylar. This is number 12. More 
just going to take a little piece of that away off the spoon. And we're going to tie that in the top. Like so. A little bit of Sabaya peacock dubbing for our thorax. This is more when we're doing dubbing, as I always say. And we're going to form a little thorax cover, a little thorax there. Pull over your mylar, over the top, secure it in, fine point scissors, and get in there and clean out that waste, like so. You can whip finish that Kevlar now. and remove it out of the way. Just to finish it off, we're going to put a little hot spot in there in the, in the collar. And we're using our Tommy Fly number 14 UV reflective line shred. Of course, you can find all these materials on our website. Make sure and check us out. Just to secure in that little collar, a couple of turns. Tidy up that little tag, let's stick it up there, and a little bit of varnish there onto the actual thread itself before you whip finish. Helps keep it all secure and safe, and tie it in there. And once again, just cut away your tidy up your thread. And there you have it, folks. Lovely, lovely little nymph. Goose by it. Nymph with a hot collar, peacock thorax, and uh, certainly, certainly has been for a long time and will be for a long time in the future. A real good fish catcher. Well, worth having a dose of them in the box. You get the goose bite in many different colors on our website, so make sure and check us out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and stay safe out there, everyone. See you soon. <music>